Okay, this is, um, I'm at the Grand Canyon, and this is the museum, the archaeology museum, but they're closed today, unfortunately. And on the weekends, I think Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, they have vendors out here that have uh, jewelry for sale. They sell a lot of, these are uh, mostly Native Americans that sell the jewelry. So a lot of turquoise jewelry uh, from Arizona, uh, New Mexico, and Colorado. And anyway, that's the museum built really well. Boy, it's like a fortress, but it's been closed for two years now. And this is 2022. So it's a shame because I really have a, a strong interest in uh, archaeology. Always have. Uh, I have science, I was in ruins. Okay, the reason why they built this museum right here is uh, the Tusion tribe. I guess it was, no, it's, well, it's called Tusion by the Spanish. Um, I forget what Indian tribe uh, was here. But they, um, they had about 30 Indians living here, Native Americans, uh, 900 years ago. So that's um, what it looks like, about 30 of them. And they would uh, climb up the sides of the wall and go in through the top to, for protection, just in case there was other Indians around that, uh, that they had trouble with. So um, I'm going to walk around, see what's left of these ruins. That's how it would have originally looked like, but... Uh, But, you know, we'll see what's left. And they made these nice walkways. and uh, Apparently, uh, there's rattlesnakes, so they say be careful of the rattlesnakes. Um, this is showing, oh, Humphreys Peak, uh, which is the highest place, I think, in Arizona, 12,633 feet high. And that is literally, it's uh, right there, but it's cloud covered because there's a, a storm moving through. So you can't really see the peak. It really goes way up there and then down. That's, uh, but I believe that's the highest point, yeah, in Arizona, 12,633 feet. So you can actually see that. Apparently that was a, a sacred mountain to the Native Americans. And... Uh, so we got uh, some tourist guy, he's walking around uh, out here, uh, his name is George, he's uh, it's a tourist. <laughs> uh, watch out for the rattlesnakes, George. So, so far I don't see it, I mean, uh, maybe all these rocks were part of a structure and now they're just scattered around and lining the uh the walkways and stuff and then well here's a definite structure right now what's left of it um yeah so they oh yeah okay yeah well there's an elk trail right there see those elk footprints those are the hoofed footprints and they're big enough to be an elk we'll walk right through here after a rain Look how many structures there are. Oh, okay. All the way down. Yeah, one, two, three, four, quite a few. And these would have been up to 20 feet high originally. Wow. Um, and they're, like I say, they're 900 years old. Oh, they don't want people back there either. 900 years. Okay. Let's see, plaza. Yeah, they don't want us going back there. Going back where? Oh, in there, you yeah. mean? Inside, yeah. Yeah. How do you know that? It's just right there, a sign. Oh, it does? Okay. So look at this. It comes all the way here. All the way down. Wow, that's, that was a big place. Oh, and look at the ventilation. Look at the system they got. Oh. In the hole. See yeah. The hole? So oh. maybe for a fireplace or something? You got one in each wall. Or that, or, yeah. Or one to go through each wall. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, maybe if they get rained out. Unless they were much deeper, like 900 years ago, maybe they were much deeper and they could have put wooden planks across to put a, a, a roof over it or something. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a good question to ask an archaeologist. Yeah, for sure. Uh, 
So, yeah, okay. I'll keep walking around, see what, the, what else there is. Okay, yeah, here's some more right here. How long of a video can you download? Uh, up to 15 minutes. 15 minutes? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm only on... Uh, Right, five so make, five minutes so, so far. So make me famous. This is yeah. this is the one and only George Lincoln. The George only, Lincoln. He one. is he is related to Abe. Yeah. And uh, Abe was his father. And uh, you don't realize uh, right. George is actually over a hundred years old. So just send tens and twenties. <laughs> just send tens and twenties. Okay. Now Kiva is their holy place. This is where they did all their ceremonies, and they're round, and they would go underground, usually about twenty feet. Okay, and the structure would be very high, and they would all go in there, and they would do uh, their ceremonies here. Okay, and this shows you what the, the reconstruction, what, what it was supposed to look like. Because they lost some of the rocks on this one, so over there. Yeah, over support there. timber. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, opening and roof. So this one would have been built up real high, and they uh, would have had to use a ladder and then go down on a ladder inside. This would have all have been stone structure. Yeah, vent. That's what this was, yeah. Yep. To provide fresh, look at this fresh here, air. Well, look at this. Why did they have a entrance to the world below the spirits below? Why would they want to let the evil spirits come up? Good question, George. But these are spiritual places. I think they get rid of uh, evil spirits. That would be maybe. a good idea. Maybe. Get maybe rid they of them. cast them down, and they, you know. Maybe, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of unanswered questions. Yes. And I don't know if these wooden pieces are. Um, Apparently they went around. I don't know if they but stuck those in. Support timbers burned after yeah. Pueblo was abandoned. Yeah. So, so they maybe they're original. They're, 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 they are. They're, they're 900 are. years old. I believe they're original. Yeah. They're saying support timbers. Uh, boy, they sure look like it. But uh, it's hard to say, you know, if they stuck them in there or not. But um, and there's the fire pit in the middle, and. Uh, so, so you know, you know, one of the things about not being able to go in there is you can't you can't take your metal detector in there. No, I'm saying you can't. That's why I say you. Okay. Uh, now we're going into another area here. Got a food for the Pueblo. Okay, they've made corn here, mm -hmm. pinion nuts. They use the yucca plant. They had actually break it in fibers and they could make rope out of the, this part of the yucca plant. And this was edible. And then uh, the pinion tree, uh, this you, you get your pinion nuts. They look very similar to pine. Um, you have to move back a little. You're in the shade. You're shading. Yeah. Um, so they look very similar to pine, except they're going to have nuts on there. And that was one of the main staples, that and uh, your maize. Uh, food for the Pueblo. And they also had beans uh, and squash, were the three main uh, fr uh, vegetables that the, the Indians used over the years. So, okay, let's see what else we got down this way. Where do you go for medicine, it says. Material for home repairs. Was this a forest, was the supermarket. Okay. Huh. So I don't believe there's much left down here. There's a sagebrush, big sagebrush. Um, Yeah, this is just a big loop here. I don't think there was any structures or anything down this way. But they do believe, I believe there's a valley down here where, with a, there used to be a creek, I think, a thousand years ago, where they got their water because you always have to think, well, where the heck did you, you got to have water to survive. Okay, here's a pinion tree. This would have the nuts. Traditional use, wood use for building materials, fires, nuts were eaten, sap, and sap waterproofed their baskets. And that's, uh, they look like the pine trees, but they have, uh, at a certain time of year, they got a lot of nuts that come off of these. Yeah. But it looks very similar to the pine. 
So yeah, down here would have been where the, the river uh, creek was back a thousand years ago, and that would have been where they would have washed their clothes, cleaned the game, all that kind of stuff. Right. Um, be interesting if they ever did an excavation down there. Okay, they, okay, they saying um, they also did a lot of their uh, growing of their uh, vegetables and stuff down there because it was the water source. Uh, large portions. Okay, it's changed since prehistoric time. So it was a tank to water livestock. And that's where they they did a lot of their crops apparently in that low lying area right down in there. But everything everything is dried up. Oh wow, that's an old old tree, boy. Look how thick it is on the bottom. Wow. Yeah, it's, trees can be deceiving. That could be six hundred. That could have been here back when the Indians were oh, here nine hundred years ago. Yeah, you could tell it was. Look at it. Yeah, that's been here a and it's almost completely dead. So you know. Uh, it's on its last legs, but that's been around a long time. Oh, that's where they make their tea from, that bush there. I'm going to go in there. Mormon they, tea. Yeah, Mormon tea, they call ne Needles brewed to make tea, so they would have just used this stuff here and make tea out of it. You can make tea out of pine needles, also from a pine tree. So, uh, do they let people go there? No, I don't think so. There's no trail, right? Yeah. Okay. I think that's about it for this video. Um, we've seen pretty much everything. And uh, so this is Eagle Eric signing off.